Tonight, we are hearing from the local lifeguard who pulled a gator out of the water with his bare hands. I watched plenty of Crocodile Hunter when I was a kid. That's a pretty that's a pretty good uh, source for information Crikey. about how to grab yeah, a gator, I guess. Absolutely. Well, Action News Jax first told you about the gator being pulled out of the water at Jack's Beach on Saturday. That was a busy day at the beach with a lot of swimmers. New at five, Action News Jack's Amber Kriska spoke to that lifeguard who says he was a little scared. He's trained to save people, not deal with alligators. And while he was bigger than the gator, he was still scared it was going to bite a finger off. Here at Jack's Beach, it's not common to see gators swimming in the ocean. It was an unexpected catch of the day in an unexpected place. I was pretty shocked when I when I was when I saw it was a gator. I was I was surprised. This is Nathan Bocock, a lifeguard with Jack's Beach, using a net to get a three-foot alligator out of the ocean near Fifth Avenue South Saturday afternoon. I wasn't fearing for my life. But I was definitely scared the entire time that it bite a hand. Before that gator was captured, Bocock was out in the water with his paddleboard trying to catch it. Thankfully, Bocock did a little homework. I watched plenty of Crocodile Hunter when I was a kid. He knew to grab it by its jaw, and he did it with his bare hands. The first time I grabbed it, pulled it up out of the water, he was not really resisting too much at first. Uh, I think he was pretty worn out. While Bocock says he couldn't control both the gator and the board, animal control showed up and brought him a net where he was safely able to catch it and bring it to shore. And now this lifeguard has a new nickname. Someone called me the gator hunter. Just to show you how rare it is to see these gators out here in the ocean, lifeguards say they've caught three in the last 10 years. Reporting in Jack's Beach, Amber Kriska, Action News Jacks. And we are glad that he was okay. Very brave of him to do that though.